Here's another myth that needs to be busted. All desserts are bad for you, right? They're unhealthy, they cause you to put on weight, uh, the sugar will kill you. Not true. As with anything else, take the balanced middle path. Anything in moderation is good for you. That's true. And to tell us more about how it's good is Chef Neha. Chef Neha, what are we doing today? What are you making? Today we're doing a banana walnut cake. I'm going to substitute a few ingredients to make it healthier than the original. Okay. So we're doing a, a whole wheat flour cake. So that'll be atta instead of refined flour. And the sugar I've substituted with the jaggery. Good old good. Yes. Lastly, the bananas. The riper the banana is always the better. It's much sweeter. So when your bananas are just about to rot, it's the perfect time to make your banana walnut cake. So, shall we start? Yes, let's do that. Okay. So here the bananas are fully matched. Okay. This is how it should look. Okay. So, add a little bit of water to the jaggery to help it melt. Okay. Oh, beautiful line. I know exactly how that's going to smell. Sweet. But this is all melted, so we're going to add it to our mashed banana. Perfect. This will also help cook up the banana a little bit. Ah, it's, a little it's nice and hot. Yeah. Oh my god, look at that. Look how good that looks here. Oh, okay. All mixed. What's next? So we have a, a dry ingredients, which we're just going to add. Make sure you do this as you add the dry ingredients so there's no lumps. We have four eggs in there. Four eggs in there. It's Excellent. all mixed. And now, uh, lastly, we'll add our olive oil in a thin stream and then we'll fold in our walnut. So, the olive oil is again a healthy option because usually you'd use butter. You'd use butter or you can use refined oil. Excellent. So, the oil is pretty much the last thing that you put in. And that is how it's done. There is almost nothing as Don't good as in my cake. cake batter. I can't believe it is that. Mm. Perfect. So now we're just going to pour it into our mold. Okay. Flip it oil, baking paper on top. Also make sure that you have a little bit of butter paper coming out from both sides. So once it's baked, it's easy to just pull out pull of up. the pan. Yeah. Good point. This is about a 500 gram loaf tin. So I've made the recipe accordingly. And now we're going to put the cake in the oven. And thanks to the magic of TV, this is how it works. Cake goes into the oven. Voila! The cake is Ooh. all done. Oh, what you looking at? Hey!